Hey everybody, it's Operation. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Let's Play Pikmin. Um, I've been wanting to play this game for a long time. The third one just came out. Well, it came out a while ago, like a month ago, I guess it is now. But yeah, I figure it's a good time to get in the series. I haven't been, a I hadn't been able to uh, really figure out how to record it in good quality. So that was part of the problem of why I didn't do it sooner. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to get to this now. Um, let's see. Let's look at my high scores. I can show you how much of a nerd I am with this game. Look at that. I beat in the game in 14 days. My first playthrough of the game, I beat it in about 20 days. And I've kind of dropped it down more and more ever since. Um, my record being uh, 14 days. But, um, maybe I'll beat that, maybe I won't, I'm not really sure, seeing as I'll be talking over it and stuff. But yeah, this is by far the hardest Pikmin game released to date. They've gone kind of progressively easier as time has gone by, with each entry in the series. But, um, yeah, I have three files here, I'm about to delete one of them. I'm not deleting this one because, my god, that is my best day ever. Uh, or my best playthrough ever, so I want to keep that one. Uh, let's see. I'm sure to delete. So I'll delete this one, I guess. So we'll be playing on file 2 here. File was erased, and let's go ahead and get right into the game, which, not shockingly, starts with a cutscene. So yeah, there you go. That's basically the extent of the cutscenes in this game until basically the final ending cutscene. But yeah, notice you crashed when it's night and now it's day. I guess you could say he was unconscious for that period of time, but I don't know. It's just something I've always found a bit weird. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. So many parts lost, a skeletal hole of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high level of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no. Better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go over the controls for the GameCube version. Um, you can whistle with B, and uh, you can do a crappy little attack with A, and uh, I'll go more into the other functions when uh, we get to them. But for now, uh, I'll just march forward. Now, it's actually been a while since I've played this. I gotta remember how to zoom out the camera, which I can't remember how to do. Anyway, here's our first onion. Um, I'm mostly just gonna keep talking through this because there's no voiced cutscenes or anything. So I figure I'll just keep talking. Because, you know, I had a playthrough like Sonic Adventure where there's a lot of cutscenes and dialogue and stuff, but uh, here, not so much. Strange thing has happened before me. I had barely begun my search when it re reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. And now we have to wait for it to sprout and wait for it. Well, it's a cutscene. I can't block it yet. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it's calling to me. I'm compelled. I must approach it and press A. Wait for it! And there it is! In all its adorable coolness. A Pikmin. 
Oh, well, wait, spoilers, I guess. Extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it, or, yeah, picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is much similar to the pick pick carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. So yeah, I was one um, dialogue of myself. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, finally survived, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A, and I shall call it my side with B. Hmm, and perhaps I will react to C, the C stick, and X as well. The following controls appear to allow me several viewpoints. L, rotate camera, hold to follow the cursor. R, zoom in and out. Z, change angle. I must survive to f I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. So yeah, that, that answers my question of how- I thought it was R, but then I pressed it and maybe you can't do it until it tells you you can. Anyway, you hold down A and it'll grab onto your back. And then you can go forward and ba-boom. Um, how these pellets work? Um, each pellet- well, I, I'm getting ahead of myself, dang it. Wait for it. It'll show you right here. There you go. It'll pop out a sprout. Well, more pigment sprouts, I should say. Astonishing! The onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the pigment harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more pigment. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life for more. If you can tell, this day is basically total trial. And, oh, yeah, if you go under it, you could put pigment in or out. But, uh, that doesn't really serve much of a purpose today. It will, going forward, though. So wait for them to come out, then pluck up- no! Uh, this is something I'm glad they improved in Pikmin 3. Uh, yeah, you pick that. So now we basically need to harvest Pikmin. Um, something to note, um, the- oh, I need five, so I guess I'll wait for that. Um, something to note of, um, one pellet, if you bring it back to the same color it is, like red, blue, yellow, spoilers, I guess, kind of, but I think- you pretty much know that if you've looked at the box art. But, um, yeah, if it's a one pellet and you bring it back to your onion and it's the same color, you will get, um, that many of that color. So, let's get five on that. So, you'll get double as many. So, if you bring back one red pellet to the reds, they'll get two, uh, two, um, two red Pikmin. But if, um, you, say, bring it back to an onion that's not its color, you'll only get one. This is the only case of that, though, for others, like this five pellet right here. If you bring it back to its color, you'll get five. But if you bring it back to a color that it's not, so like if you brought this back to a blue onion, you'd only get, I believe it's three. So I don't know why they decided to make the ones twos for that, but hey, that's what they did. I can't really complain too much, I guess. So yeah, let's go ahead and pluck these guys. If you just keep mashing A, he'll go forward and pluck more. But yeah, this day is not, you know, anything. It's just basically a total trial day, so there's not even any en enemies or, you know, anything to really fear on this day. It's just a day to get you accustomed to the controls and stuff like that. So let's... Oh, and if you toss more Pikmin onto an... Oh, oh I tossed one too many. And... No! You... Uh... But yeah, it, if you toss uh, more Pikmin than our, uh, whatever, just one, come here back. See, look how he's carrying it. Now if you add a second Pikmin, it, they'll carry it faster. So that's something to keep in mind and is very helpful. Um, in this day, you could harvest up to 25 Pikmin. So I recommend you go ahead and, you know, get all that you can. You know, because if you only have like 20, I mean, I guess 5 is not a huge deal, but if you could get more, why wouldn't you do it? So, let's go ahead and push this box. Oh, I should mention, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but with this, using the C-Stick, you could um, direct the Pikmin wherever you want to direct them. Um, that is in Pikmin 1 and 2. In Pikmin 3, you can no longer do this. You can only have them charge at stuff, which is something I'm kind of sad they removed. I mean, it, you don't miss it too much, but it's a little thing that I liked. Pigmen are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pigmen conduct. 
Approach and press A to pick sprouts. Press A to grab Pikmin released to throw. Press B to call them. X to dismiss. Use C to command and control the group. L, R, and X control perspective. I shall record all this in my computer. I can press Y to access the computer. So like I said, you can press Y. And right now, all it will show is how many Pikmin you have with you, how many are free, how many are in the onion, etc. And then over here, if you press the R button, you'll have all the controls, if you ever forget them. So yeah, there's that. And let's look at this cutscene! I love that sound. Amazing! There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but... How will I get it back to the dolphin? That is a good question indeed. Although I'm pretty sure everybody already knows the answer. So yeah, let's go ahead and get these here pellets. And, uh, I guess we'll just swarm this. It's funny, I tried to walk on there for a second. No, no me, this is this is not, a uh, Big Man 3. Anyway, as you can see over there, there's, uh, there's another ship part over there, but we can't get it yet. It's just taunting us. We'll be coming back here later. We need uh, we need more pigment types to be able to get that. So yeah, let's go with. Well, <laughs> I like how he helped. <laughs> that pigment helped at the last couple steps. It's like I'm gonna help you, buddy. Oh well, it was a step. You know, it's the thought that counts. When pigment seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the pigment from the ground. I've noticed that when I add pigment to my group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between pigment. Yeah, the ones that, uh, that aren't active... Well, well, let me see if I can compare. Um, here. So you can see the difference. See, these ones are all dark red. In the, oh, excuse me. Let's see. Let's zoom in. But yeah, see, that one's all pale, while these guys are all darker shades of red. So it's a way that you can tell who's in your battalion and who's not in your battalion. And yes, I'm gonna call it battalion. I haven't- I have yet to hear a better word for it. I mean, I guess you could call them group or unit, but I prefer the term battalion. It sounds more epic. But yeah, that- we've ha now harvested all the Pikmin we can on this day. So all we have that is left for us to do is go and get the engine part. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go over there. Now, like I said, you could s control the Pikmin with the C-stick, so you could- that's the best way to get them to swarm things. So, like, see, like it shows, you only need 20 Pikmin. But, like I said, you could get 25, so why wouldn't you get 25? Um, I'm sorry this day hasn't been the most entertaining. Because, I mean, it's just a total trial day. There's not that much to do. Other days we'll have a timer, which we'll get into later. But it's compiled comprised of 13 minute days, so things are going to get hectic. I'm going to try and get as much done as possible in each day. So the game's really going to pick up as soon as uh, day two starts. So hopefully you'll stay tuned for day two and enjoy it. But yeah, they're almost back. We will be coming back here one day later. Well, not one... Uh, at a later time, we'll be coming back is what I mean. We're not going to come back here day two. But a, a few days later, we'll be back here. So you have not seen the last of the impact site at all. There's a lot more to be done here. And waiting for the text to pop up as we got our engine back. I like how the Oh, I love that chime. I I just absolutely love it. You'll only hear that one more time in the entire game, as far as I can remember. Oh glorious, with the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow.
one day since impact. I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the pigmen cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hockitate. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the keys to my survival, I name it the Forest of Hope. I explore it tomorrow. So yeah, after each day you will get a little chart here that will show you what you've done. Um, pigment wise at least. I don't think it will show ship parts you've covered. But yeah, you got uh, 25 sprouted, none lost in battle because there has been no battle, and none left behind. Although the lost in battle part will probably pick up on probably around day 3 or so. I don't think I'll lose many on day 2 because there's not that many hard enemies to fight until a few days later. But yeah. That it'll pretty much wrap it up for day one of Let's Play Pikmin. As you can see, there's one more part in the impact site. Let's see, one more part. But uh, we're not going to go back there yet because we do not have what is required to get it. So on the next day, for tomorrow, we have the Forest of Hope. And you can see how many ship parts we got there. Although uh, we're not going to we're not going to get them all in one day. You know, I'm not that crazy. And I'm not even sure if it's possible. Maybe somebody's crazy enough and has an like, amazing strategy of how to get them all. But I cannot do that. So, yeah. The, the trek continues tomorrow with the Forest of Hope. See you guys then.